some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Gainesville, Florida, where we encounter a frauditor that goes by the channel name of Blue Steel. And, well, he apparently has a bit of a temperament issue and ends up having a bit of a meltdown inside of the police station over nothing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? I'm here at the uh, GPD, and it's uh, November 1st, on Friday. Oh, okay. I do two things. I'm going to want to make A, a records request. Mm -hmm. I'm going to want um, the body worn camera from a certain officer. His name is Rochelle, 0486. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going real slow, whatever you need. What do you mean by slow? Do you mean that your actual ability to read or do you mean your overall mental capacity such as uh, El Dopey Dog has? Because El Dopey Dog is definitely a few fries short of a Happy Meal and I suppose you are too considering how you uh, present yourself in this video later on. So let's just go ahead and skip ahead because this video is quite slow in certain areas because a lot of frauditors like to keep a lot of dead air in their videos and that gets quite boring several months later i just want to know who, who all right now yeah their office aaron waggle don't get your tape measure out and measure my crotch Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm a, All right. You're good at crotch measuring, but you're not good at measuring the climate. I wasn't disrespectful at all. Okay, good. So go be an employed clown elsewhere. Okay, Thank you. Right Why are you being such a dickhead? You're the one to come out here. Look at this clown-faced ass. Not you, love. You step to the side. I don't want to catch you. Why are you coming around here, Aaron Waggle? Hello. I made sure that our employees are treated with respect. I was treating her with, with respect. Was it, It's all on the video, dumbass. And that's how you're going to look. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. And you were doing so well, frauditor, and up until you decided to flip the switch and become something entirely different over nothing. The officer was just making sure everything was okay, and you had to go make it into a big issue. Shame on you, frauditor. Shame on you. And shame on you. I'm for even coming around here. What does the plug mean? A plug I'll explain to you when you're YouTube famous like you are. Okay. It's so, explain it. What is yeah. the plug? Is that, yeah. is that a negative? Disappear from front to rear. Why are you coming around here? Why are you, why are you up in here? Are you restricted to, the, to this area? Are okay. you not allowed on the street? Yeah, I am. Then why aren't you there? Uh, because why did you make it your business to come around here? I was talking to this woman, and she was dutifully... Uh, doing my request to you come around here and made it an AB conversation with me. What's your malfunction? Is there a question in that? Yes. Okay, what's the There's question? multiple. Okay. Now, obviously, you think it's worth your time to come around here and, and, and run your mouth. It is. Because me and her, and the record's going to reflect, Doma, that I wasn't asking her nothing out of the ordinary. My behavior was copacetic, 100. Yes. Why you come around here, you know who I am? You know who I am? You know who I am? Yeah, I'm sure the cops know who you are. I mean, you've got the bad attitude of a frauditor that uh, really attracts the law enforcement officers now, don't you? So question, how many times have you been fitted with shiny new pairs of bracelets in your lifetime? Uh, just asking for a friend. No, I, no, I don't. Of course you do. That's why you brought your fat ass around here, I, Goma. I have no idea who you are. Why don't you go elsewhere? I don't have to yeah. stand up where's your yeah. boss at, Goma? We're good. Hey, where's your boss at? Would you like to speak to him? Yes, I would, right now. Sure. Rapido, yeah. por favor. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I want to see your boss. You want to see him? Yes, right away. No I want to make a complaint on the spot. No problem. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. 
Hurry up, you want to hurry up your ass around here and start some shit, Goma. Now you got a little protest. You okay? You're shaking. No, I'm mad as hell. I want to see your goddamn boss. Okay. Right now. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah, I'm pissed. I want to see your boss on the spot. Thank you. Go ahead. Officer Aaron Waggle. Officer Aaron Look at, Waggle. He measures crotches. <laughs> this does. is a Gainesville crotch measure. Yes. Lost, lost, lost. Lost what? I've lost my marbles. Yeah, something tells me that this guy has lost a few of his marbles and, uh, well, just can't seem to find them. I mean, have you looked behind the uh, desk or inside uh, a garbage can? Because, well, it's always in the last place you look. But in your case, I don't think retrieving those marbles would do you any good. Yes. Look at this guy. Is that why you're upset? No, I'm upset because you brought your fat ass around here. Well, I didn't like the yelling. And there I was nobody for yelling. The record's going to reflect. Now I'm yelling. Okay. I'm asking for your boss. Okay. Are you done yelling? No, I'm not done with you yet. When I get done with your boss, then I'll be probably close to being finished. Okay. Are you Thank done you yelling? very much. Are you done yelling? I'll do whatever I please. There ain't a goddamn thing you can do about it. Okay, who should I I'm going to strike down upon you with great vengeance for you coming around here with me. And you oppress people. This is a blue Isis bastard right here. Uh, my eyes are brown. You're blue Isis. Isis? Yes, that's what you are. That's I'm what brings you around here. Eyes. You're part of the blue line gang. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? I want to see your boss. That's what I want to see. You're shaking. I'm mad as hell with okay, you. I want to make sure you don't have any medical issues. Yeah, I don't have no medical issues. Okay. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Yeah, it seems like uh, you might have lost your medication somewhere and now you're uh, crashing from it. So everybody's going to have to feel the effects of your dumbass right now that uh, you're off your meds i'm in good shape okay. great physical who, shape fat boy who should i say who should i say wants to speak with my lieutenant who is your lieutenant would be the first question i have um let's see if i'm answering questions so my lieutenant is off today we've got we've got a selection of lieutenants. so they leave you unsupervised no no, no i have several lieutenants oh i'm mad as hell bro i'm mad why you brought you want you want some scunning i'm gonna bring it i don't know what, as what close scunning? as close to it as i can come you're gonna get the full monty bro okay i don't know what scunny is i'm gonna explain to you please whenever i get done with you it'll all be summarized hey, as such how are you? i'm good okay. hey take out your trash love because this giving y'all a bad image right here. I was conducting my business with this lady from the Records Bureau. And this fat piece of shit come around here to show his blue ISIS ass. Do you want to, do you want to talk to this government or would you like me to get a lieutenant instead? How about we get a lieutenant and he's on shift? Yeah, that's no problem. Hey, Fraud Editor, I got a question for you. Were you born with a... Uh, Sharp, pointy sticks uh, point, poking out of your ass because, well, that would explain why you're such a uh, unbearable individual. I mean, nobody would want to put up with your BS. What's your name, ma'am? My name is Jamie Koenig, sir. Koenig? Yes, oh, okay, I've heard of you before. Yes, yes ma'am. I was just... You before. We've, we've I'm talked. Blue Steel. I go by the name Blue Steel Sterling sure. Grindle. Hey, look here. Yes, sir. We, we I, talked. I was talking to the Bureau, sure. the lady from the Records Bureau. Sure. I was not having no words. It's all on the record. Yes, sir. And I know y'all have this because I've gained that before. Anyway, long story short, ma'am. I don't... I know who that is. I never had an interaction with him. You know what I'm saying? But he found his need to come over. The record will reflect that. Did he come over? All I wanted to do was make a records request. Okay. I was pretty near done. There was no hostilities out of me and her. The record's gonna reflect that. I come in here and deal with these ladies all the time. If you know who I am, you know what I do. Well, you, you don't have to say no more about that. No, no, you and I, we, we had a conversation not long ago when you came into the lobby and talked to Lieutenant Durst. Oh, yeah, was, okay. That time I was in charge of the internal affairs. Yes, ma'am. So, so I'm not, I'm not, I've not been hostile in any way. That phone call might have been a little bit left to center for me. You know what I'm saying? You know? Wait a second. You just said that phone call was a little bit left of center. Does that mean you actually have a history of uh, 
this kind of uh, hostility toward people. So yeah, uh, you're kind of lying at this point, saying that uh, that this is a rarity for you. Yeah, considering that you seem to have some lengthy history behind this kind of hostility with everybody around you. So question, who let you out unsupervised? But um, keeping it in the mayonnaise and the mustard, I've been, you know, forthright, you know, as just as a requester, this is what I do. I've never raised my voice at this. Mr. Grindle, did you get your, did we receive your public Yes, record? I think she did, you okay. know, I, and, and I don't know why he come over here, okay. but I want to make a formal complaint on him. I probably won't do it right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because would I'm you, a little would agitated. Would you like me to get you the documentation? So you can I, I got it. Me. I'll come back and get it. Are but thank sure? you for your, I, I understand yes, that you're, you're extending what's properly do I understand and I recognize that thank you for your time and sure, effort ma'am yes ma'am I'm sorry about you know I don't usually I've never been hostile in y'all's room but we might have had words you know what I'm saying with certain people you know but I've never okay. been hostile and that man I don't know you'll see okay. you'll see is there any way that I can help you before you no ma'am you've amended the situation and I appreciate your time and effort thank you for responding appropriately yes sir no problem yes ma'am <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Thank you, too, now. This ain't over. Yeah, this isn't over. He still has a few things he's got to say, so let's tune in to what this idiot has left to say. Whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, she was totally apologetic. I don't know what went on there, but that shit hit the fan, but if I could, I would. That dude's all out of order. Anyway, I'm gonna cut off. You know, I really don't think so, dude. I mean, the only person I heard in there screaming was you, Frauditor. Uh, you were the one that went ballistic over what? Nothing, really? I mean, come on now, dude. Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed this dumbass. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?